Hello, everybody, and welcome. My name is Shauna Versteigen, and we have a 45-minute strength and conditioning workout for all levels of fitness. That's my favorite part about T-Rex training, is that we can do one workout and accommodate it for anybody, any level, anywhere, maybe in your basement, a playground outside, at your gym. Either way, we're gonna make this workout work for you. What we have is two different rounds of work, and we're going to see each of those rounds separated by a cardio blast going up the pyramid. Then we're gonna go back down the pyramid, see those same two rounds of work in reverse, and we're gonna to try to make all those exercises just a touch more challenging. Are you guys ready? Let's get started with our warm up. Everybody, we're gonna begin with our TRX standing rollout. Your straps will be at mid length for this entire first section of the workout. So if you stand facing away from the anchor, Nice, strong, active plank. Squeeze your bum, shoulders down and back, and roll those hands out just a bit, and return. To make these harder, you can walk backwards a little bit, but keep in mind we're just warming up. I want that space between your ears and your shoulders. I want you to squeeze those butt cheeks tight. You've got a piece of coal between them. You're making a diamond. You've got 45 minutes to make a beautiful, sparkly diamond. You're squeezing your quads. You're driving your toes down to the ground. You can feel your core engage. Three, two, and one. Squat row combo. Have you turned facing the anchor? Lean back just a touch. Drop that bucket down in your squat. Stand up and plank, big squeeze behind your shoulder blades, and return back to that plank. Again, our focus here is mobility. Mobility in your hips, your knees, your ankles. We're feeling those shoulder blades engage. Those scapula are retracting. Your tummy is tight and braced. And again, I can see that space between your ears and your shoulders. I'm just kidding, I totally can't see you, but wouldn't that be cool if like every time you logged into YouTube, I'd be like, hi. But let's just pretend I can see your perfect posture. Three, two, and one, forward lunge with Y fly. Turn it around facing away from the anchor. Nice, strong, active plank again. Just like those standing rollouts. Give me a big step forward with your right foot. Bend the left knee down toward the floor. Pressing into those handles, core is engaged. Hey, if you've done some of my workouts before, you'll realize we do the same darn workout every single time, or sorry, same darn warm up every single time. Why do we do that? Because it's a good one. I love this warm up. We're getting mobile where we need to be mobile. We're becoming stable where we need to be stable. And it's just kind of a nice, comfortable ritual to start with. We all kind of get together on the same page before we smash ourselves. Just kidding, it won't be that bad today. Three, two, and one. Single leg hip hinges. Turn around facing the anchor. Walk it back so your arms are straight out in front of you. Balance on your right leg. Press down on those handles. Hinge forward. Hips are square and come back up. Try not to set that foot down. We're focusing on balance. Hip bones should both be pointed toward the floor. Your pinky toe of that elevated leg is also aiming toward the floor, feeling a stretch through your hamstrings. Soften the grounded leg, still pulling those shoulders down and back away from your ears. Three, two, one, switch sides, let's plant that other foot. Ground it, shoulders down and back, pushing down hard. Extend the right heel back again, feeling that stretch through your hamstrings. I'm using the legs a lot. Today's workout, we don't have a single body part focus. We're moving through all of your different body parts, all of your different foundational movements. The first part will be standing, second part on the ground. We'll stay on the ground as we peek on that pyramid and then come back up to a stand. Minimal adjustment changes today. So you won't be going crazy with lengthening and shortening those straps. One more big stretch with this one. Reaching the heel back. Good lateral lunges. Give me a nice wide stance. Pointing your toes directly forward. Shoulders checked down and back. Go ahead and bend your right knee. Get a nice stretch to that hip. And pull it all the way up. Bend your left knee. Get a nice stretch to that hip. Good. Again, focus on how low you can safely go. Ensuring both toes are pointed directly forward. And also, you're not dumping backwards when you do this lunge. You're bending the knee, lowering down like an elevator, coming up like an elevator. And once again, being aware of where your body is in space, shoulders away from your ears. I'm going to say that about 10,000 more times, so just get used to that. <laughs> bending from the knee. You can even turn this into a Cossack stretch. You can point that opposite toe up toward the sky, get a little bit lower. Ooh, feels so good. Keeping that grounded heel on the floor. 
Good. Finally, let's turn it into those golfers rotations with chest openers. So hands are at belly button height. Shoulders away from your ears. Soften your knees. Keep your feet planted and rotate 180 degrees away. And then drop those arms open. Sweep them. Close. And swing through other side. All the way up. Open. Sweep. Close. So we're getting the value of some rotational work, but also mobilizing the shoulders opening up your chest. Maybe you just woke up and you need a good stretch. Maybe you were sitting at your desk all day and need to open the chest up. But notice how I'm not picking up my feet. I'm just pivoting and stretching. Five, four, three, two, and one. All right, let's get this party started. We have 40 second intervals and only 20 seconds of rest before we transition into our next exercise. So our first exercise today will be a basic TRX squat. So your straps are going to stay at mid-length where they were during warm-ups. I'll have you standing facing the anchor point, feet a little wider than shoulder width apart, a little bit of slack on those straps. And again, your elbows are slightly in front of your shoulders. So you're not back here, you're right about here, okay? A little bit of slack on those straps, shoulders down and back, weight in your heels. You go as low as you safely can. We're going in three. Two and one. Drop that bucket down as low as you can. Press your feet apart and drive it up. Now, if you're looking for a little more advanced workout today, consider this squat an extension of your warm up, and I promise we'll give you some options to make it more challenging later. I want you to focus on how low you can go and maintaining a neutral spine. When you squat, keep going. When you squat, you want to make sure that you're not tucking that tailbone under. Not horribly dangerous in this TRX, but if you put some weight on your back and squat like that, that's what can lead to some pretty massive back pain. 10 seconds left. Are you pressing your feet apart as you stand up, tearing the floor apart with your feet? Three, two, and one. TRX triceps presses. Keep your straps at mid. Remember, we're going to stay at mid-length for a while here. Stand facing away from the anchor. Frankenstein position the balls of your feet. Option for offset stance. Shoulders away from your ears. Bend your elbows, thumbs to temples. Come right back up to that starting position. Two and one. Here we go. So I'm bending from my elbows, touching my forehead, and coming right back up. Remember that piece of coal between your butt cheeks? Hug it tight. I've got that space between my ears and my shoulders. I'm actively bending through the elbows. I'm actively bracing my core. I'm even squeezing my quads. Now that's the cool thing about TRX suspension training is even though I'm doing a triceps exercise, I am systematically squeezing every single muscle in my body. If you wanna make this more challenging, you can take a little step back. If you feel like you're arching your back, please step forward. Five, four, three, two, and one. Shake it out. TRX high biceps curls. We're going to turn around. Same thing, other direction. My pinkies are up at my temples, and my elbows are nice and high. Shoulders are down and back. The trick to this is you never let your elbows drop. I always keep my elbows up, just like they're up on a high countertop the entire time. You ready? 40 seconds. Here we go. Driving my heels into the ground, pulling my toes up towards my shins. The reason why I'm lifting my toes up is it helps keep my back straight and my body tight. Helps me avoid arching. My shoulders are down and back out of my ears. My belly button is pulled in. I'm keeping my eyes up at my anchor point or the top of your door if you're working on your door. Pulling my pinkies all the way up, maybe slightly past my temples. Not a very steep angle for this exercise. 10 seconds left, keep it tight and braced. Are you zipping those ribs in? Five, four, three, two, and one. Alternating step back lunges. Strap stay at mid length, turn facing your anchor point. Go ahead and step back. Same position we're in for your squats. So you got a little bit of slack on those straps. Shoulders are down and back. You're going to step back and lunge 90-90 with one leg and step back and lunge with the other. Just keep alternating. One, here we go. Step back with one leg. Squeeze your buns. Step it together. Eyes stay up at the anchor. It's tempting to look down and see what your legs are doing, but look what that does to my posture. So I want to keep my eyes up. And you get to use your straps as much or as little as you need. Now, even if you're an expert at lunging, I still put a little bit of pressure on the straps so I can feel that engagement behind my shoulder blades and have a reminder to have awesome posture. Are you really pressing through your front heel, keeping that front knee tracking over your middle toes? Five, four, three, 
two and one. Let's get in a little bit of rotation with those power pulls. So I'm going to keep my straps mid-length. I'm going to grab onto one handle and pull it tight. Now, if you're on a door anchor, make sure that that door is securely shut. I'm going to hold the handle in my right hand, pull it to my rib cage, and the balls of my feet reach my left hand up toward the anchor. I'm going to slowly lower down, drop to my heels, pull it up fast. Here we go. So my body's staying in the straight line. I'm avoiding arching. I'm keeping my active shoulder down and away from my ear. I'm squeezing those buns, still making that diamond. Shoulders are down and back. Middle is tight and active the entire time. 20 seconds left. I'll change the angle so I don't fly off the screen here. How about that? 15 seconds to go. Open. Big pull and squeeze and drive. Body straight and strong. Are you keeping that right shoulder away from your right ear? Shoulders or ear poison? Three, two, and one. Awesome. 20 seconds. Roll it out. The big focus of that exercise is that when you pull, the shoulder stays down. It's tempting to let it come up, but we want to focus on that pull with good form in your upper back. Switch hands. Find that end range of motion. Balls of your feet. Reach to the top. Slowly lower it down. Drop to your heels. Body straight. Squeeze. Pull it right back up. When you come to the top, if you have some slack, slow it down or maybe take a slightly steeper angle. Chances are you started a little too easy and just pulled yourself up and over the top. Now, can you feel that squeeze behind your left shoulder blade? Popping up to my toes, sticking that landing. Body is straight and strong. Surfboard the entire time, or rotisserie chicken. Oh my gosh, I just joined Costco and discovered their amazing, like, $4 rotisserie chickens. So now I actually have something to think about when I use that cue. All right, we have our TRX hinges. Keep those straps at mid-length. If you have a door anchor, I want you to bring your bum right up against the door, arms straight. If you don't have a door anchor, pretend that your bum is right up against the door. My arms stay straight. I'm just going to hinge forward, open my hips up, squeeze in my plank, go ahead and start. Drive my hips back. That's it. Squeeze my bum, hips forward. <sighs> Drive my hips back. So I'm not moving at my shoulder at all. My hands stay directly beneath my shoulders at all times. Now, if that's too easy, you can walk it back. And then you hinge into a slightly steeper plank. Although if you're on a door anchor, you can't walk it back because you can't blow your bum through that door. Your straps will fall. <laughs> Actively tight squeeze. But if you do have an overhead anchor and you want a bigger challenge, you can walk back. Start with your hands directly beneath the anchor. Drive those hips back. Press them forward and squeeze. Never letting the hips sag. All right, guess what time it is? It's cardio blast time. Here's what we've got. We're gonna do a side shuffle and a tap. So you're gonna shuffle, 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 tap. Shuffle, 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 tap. Side to side. 30 seconds, 15 second break, half burpees. Plank, up. Jump is optional. Then we do it again. Are you ready for those shuffles? Let's go, 30 seconds. Shuffle, tap, shuffle, tap. Moving laterally. I don't want to get out of the camera, so I'm only going to go this far. If you want to do a few extra shuffles, feel free. Side to side. Whew. Nice athletic stance. I'm keeping my back flat. I want to hinge forward. Whew. Getting those heart rates up. Soft knees. Careful in that direction change. Remember, stepping is optional too. Three, two, and one. Half burpees, meaning no push up, no jump. But you know what, if you decide to push up and jump, <laughs> that's totally up to you. <laughs> All right, ready, set, let's go. Half burpee, here we go. Hup, hup, hup. Nice, strong, active plank, squeeze it, brace it. Whew. Popping those knees in, eyes out ahead of your hands. Whew. 20 seconds left. <sighs> Sticking that plank. Notice how when I bring my feet in, they're wide, so I can hit that nice athletic stance. My eyes are out ahead of my hands. Five, four, three, two, and one. 15 second recovery, and then we're back to that shuffle, shuffle, tap. The side to side shuffle. Catch your breath. After we get to this next round of cardio, we'll have a one minute recovery, and then we're gonna continue our adventure back up this pyramid, side to side. Here we go, Hup, shuffle, 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 tap, 
nice and athletic. <sighs> Touch. Again, thinking about that hip hinge we did, your final exercise in that first round, you want to hinge your body with a flat back as you come down and tap the ground. Quick direction changes, challenging your hips with this lateral movement. Three, two, and one. Half burpees, 15 seconds. The focus here is that hip mobility as you pop up. I don't want to see you coming here, but here. All right, ready? Let's go in three, two, one. It's burpee time. Here we go. Pop, pop, ha. Ah. Nice, strong plank. Body long and tight. Shoulders away from your ears. This is our last cardio burst for this side of the pyramid. And then we'll hit the ground. 10 seconds left. Can you go a little faster? A few more of these. Five, four, three, two, and one. One minute. Grab some water. Then I'm going to have you bring your straps to mid-calf length for our next series of exercises. All right. So if you need a mat, if your ground isn't very soft, we'll be on the floor for a little bit now. Pull in that mat. Let's bring those straps to mid-calf length. Handles just above knee height. We'll pop your heels in. Our first exercise, hamstring curls. Heels are in. I am ground facing the anchor point. My toes are back towards my shins. Option one, I can drag my heels in without lifting my bum up. Option two, I can lift my bum up and pull those knees in and out. But do avoid pointing your toes into the handles. Make sure you pull your toes back towards your shins. That's gonna keep your calves from cramping up. All right, get into position. We're going in three. Oh my goodness, two and one. Ha. That was not as long of a rest break as I probably needed. <laughs> it's funny, we get shorter rest breaks in these recorded workouts because in my live classes I start talking, people have questions, and I think my classes have, have figured out how to milk me for longer rest breaks. They know if they ask about my kids or ask about a particular exercise form, they can get a much longer rest break. But because I can't hear your questions right now, we're just gonna plow through it to make sure we finish this workout on time. Oh, five, four, three, two, and one. 20 seconds going to push-ups. You can do the push-ups on the ground or pop both toes in, flip it over so you're ground facing away. Hands and knees on the floor. One option is knee push-ups. Other option, you're in full suspension, driving your heels back into those handles. Going in three, find your plank, calves, quads, glutes, hamstrings tight, down and drive. If you learn nothing else from me in any of the workouts I lead, it's that you should never, ever let your hips sag down. I'm gonna say that again, you keep push-upping. Your, hip up, hic your hiccups, your hips should never, ever sag when you're doing an exercise. If they do, your back is going to hurt and you're going to be sore tomorrow, and then you're not gonna like TRX, and then you're not gonna have this amazing fitness experience from these straps. 10 seconds left, eyes out ahead of you slightly, bending from the elbows, body stays straight, driving your heels back, three, two, and one. Supine reverse fly. Keep your straps at mid-calf length. If you have a direct above anchor, you're gonna move back so your head's behind the anchor. If you have a door anchor, I'm going to have you line yourself up so your head is right up against your door. Holding onto the handles, arms wide. You're going to pull yourself up into a seated position. Squeeze behind my shoulder blades and lower down controlled. Squeeze behind the shoulder blades, lower down controlled. It's not a huge motion. Okay? It's kind of like your TRX T-fly, but not the whole range. We're just focusing on stability in your scapula, the rear delts, your upper back, and you'll notice your core engaged too as you're lifting yourself up. Big squeeze and return. This one takes practice. This is probably a new one for you. Absolutely no problem if you want to pause and play with this a little bit. Three, two, and one. TRX mountain climbers. Oh, it had to happen. 
We had to have these in here. Option one, you can do regular mountain climbers on the floor. Otherwise, pop those toes in, meet me ground facing away from the anchor point. When you do this, you're going to lift your hips up in the air as your knee comes in. Are you ready? Two, one. Find that strong plank, pull one knee in, hips come up, stick the landing. Other knee in, hips come up, stick the landing. Push down and drive. Option, keep going guys. Option, you can always take your feet out and do your regular mountain climbers. Right? And if you don't lift your hips, it's not wrong. However, you're not getting as much of a contraction in your midsection. Keep going, push down and lift. I'm driving through my hands. Notice how we're also working on shoulder mobility here. I'm still pulling my toes towards my shins and I stick each landing with a strong, straight plank. Double butt kick to get out of there. Abdominal bicycle. So we're gonna flip over, pop your heels in. We have one length, but a lot of flipping around, don't we? <laughs> so pop those heels into your ground facing the anchor. This time you get to keep your bum down, relax your head and your hands. It's just like the abdominal bicycle on the floor, but you're gonna push down in the foot cradles. Let's give it a shot. Opposite elbow, opposite knee. So I'm pushing down into the foot cradles and lifting my opposite shoulder up. So I'm not just flap, 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 flap. Every rotation is active and deliberate. I'm not pulling on my head, I'm just letting my head rest in my hands to take the tension off of my neck. I'm still pulling my toes back towards my shins. And you know what, this is a terrible combination having these back to back with those mountain climbers. It was done on purpose. But now I'm starting to regret that programming. And five, four, three, two, and one. Stay right here. We are at the top of the pyramid. TRX hip press, which means we have to do it not once, but twice. Once on the way up, once on the way back down. I also did this on purpose because it's my least favorite exercise. Knees bent to 90, thighs are vertical, head and shoulders on the ground, squeeze your buns, lift your hips up, lower down and tap. Option, if this is too much, you can take your feet out of the foot cradles and just do a glute bridge on the ground. So I'm squeezing my buns, driving the hips up, lowering down, little tap on the floor. On the top of every rep, there should be a straight line from my knees to my hips to my shoulders. I'm pushing down, lifting up, keeping my head and shoulders hugging the floor. Squeezing and bracing, toes back towards my shins. If you are on a door anchor, your feet should not be touching that door. That means you're cheating. Five, four, three, two, and one. Oh, we made it to the top of the pyramid. We're gonna take a one minute rest. You can either leave your heels in there and just stretch or grab a quick sip of water, which is what I'm gonna do. And then we're gonna do that all again. On the way back down the pyramid, it's not gonna be an easy downhill. I'm gonna offer you options of ways you can make these exercises even more challenging. <laughs> you don't have to take the options, but they're there if you're ready to take that next step up. So guys, we're gonna go back to those hamstring curls again. Let's get your heels in, ground facing the anchor. By hamstring curls, I mean hip presses again. We're going back in reverse. Option to make these more challenging. You can bring your arms up off the ground. That gives you a little less stability with these hip presses. We're going in 10 seconds, everybody. Head and shoulders on the ground. Toes pulled back towards your shins. Feet are hovering just in front of that door, but they don't touch. Two and one, here we go. We've got 40 seconds of these. In my classes, very often we do 30 second sets. So whenever I teach a 40 second set of something, that extra 10 seconds just seems to be extra special <laughs> when your mind gets hooked on a certain time. Push down and lift up. We have 20 seconds left. If it feels slightly crampy, good news, you're doing it right. But strengthening those hamstrings are so important for your knee stability, your hip stability, <sighs> protecting your back, your spine. Three, two, and one. Keep your heels in. We're gonna move into your abdominal bicycles next. So my toes are still back towards my shins. You can let your legs hang straight and stretch for a moment. We're going in about 10 seconds. Whew. We'll see how it feels doing the abdominal bicycles and then those mountain climbers. Oh my. All right, we're going in three, two, and one. Push down, drag it in. 
opposite shoulder to opposite knee. Relaxing your head and your hands, pulling your belly button in tight. <sighs> Pushing down, dragging in. This always reminds me of like old school core strength videos that we used to do like in high school. Relax your head back, feel that rotation. Ah. Are you pulling your toes back towards your shins? Do you still have that space between your ears and your shoulders? You have five, four, push down hard, three, two, and one, mountain climbers. We're gonna flip it over, ground facing away from the anchor. Do you really want to make these harder? <laughs> if you do, if you're up for it, you're going to crawl further away from the anchor point. And the further away you are from the anchor, the more challenging this exercise is going to be. Find that nice, strong, active plank. Stick it. Bam. One knee in at a time. Stick that plank. Boom. Make sure you're not coming down any lower than parallel. And as you pull that knee in, your hips come up, and you're keeping equal pressure in both foot cradles so the straps are not sawing. I'm constantly pulling my shoulder blades down and back, trying to press my hands apart. You'll notice I have my hands on the outer edge of my mat. I'm actually pretending like I'm trying to tear this mat in two. 10 seconds left. Squeeze it, brace it, drive it. Five, four, three, two, and one. Supine chest fly. This is a weird one, so I'm not really gonna make you make it any harder. <laughs> if you have that overhead anchor, come all the way underneath it so that your anchor is lined up with your sternum. If you have a door anchor, line your head up, right snug up against your door. Legs straight, arms wide. Here we go. Squeeze behind your shoulder blades, pull it up, and down controlled. Try not to rest too long at the bottom. That's what I'm always tempted to do. Big squeeze and lower down. Feel that engagement behind your shoulder blades. Everything's braced. Your ribs are zipped in. Try not to let your chest flare up toward the sky. Shoulders still away from your ears. Legs nice and straight. Kind of like a sit-up with lots of assistance. <laughs> 10 seconds left. Ugh. Five, four, three, two, and one, it's push-up time. Ha! Ah, push-ups, how do we make these harder? Let's go atomic. We can do your push-up followed by that knee crunch. Can't have a workout with atom without atomic push-ups, right? Toes in, flip it over quick. We only have a few seconds to go here. Ah, hands and knees, ready, set. Find that plank, here we go. So it's push-up and a crunch, hips up. Stick that plank, push-up and crunch option. If the push-up off your knees is a little tricky, you can do a push-up on your knees, and then find your plank, and then do your crunch. And that still totally counts as an atomic push-up. And of course, you can also completely come out of the straps and just do regular push-ups as well. We have 15 seconds left. Squeezing your body straight and long and strong. I'm still trying to pull this mat apart. Five, four, three, two, and one. Oh, hamstring curls, flip it over. Last one in this series. Then we're back to our cardio blast. Pop those heels in. How do you make these harder? Well, you can scoot backwards, or you can lift those hands up, or do a little bit of both. You ready, team? Three, two, one. Lift your hips up if you can, one knee at a time. Pushing down, dragging in. I'm sorry, the one knee at a time is another option to make it more challenging for that hamstring bicycle. You can also do your regular hamstring curls too. So many options, so many things we can play with here. If you are doing this hamstring bicycle one knee at a time, make sure you push down and you drag that heel in toward your body so that the straps aren't doing that seesaw thing. If they're sawing, that means you're not pushing down as you pull in. We have five, Four, ha ha, three, two, and one. Oh, take a break. Whew. We are moving on to some cardio time here. Grab a quick sip of water, just a quick one, not too much. We don't want to get sloshy, sloshy. We're going to do that side shuffle with a tap, and then option full burpee, push up and jump. We invite you 
to try that bigger challenge, knowing that you only have one small block of exercise left. All right, team. We're going in 15 seconds. Side shuffle, 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 tap. Shuffle, 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 tap. Then you get 15 off, burpees. 15 off, shuffles. 15 off, burpees. Then that one more round of work. Are you ready? Going in three, two, and one. Here we go. Shuffles. Quick direction change. Pop. Quick reaction. Bam. Whew. Whew. Are you keeping those toes forward? Shoulders pulled back. Chest up tall and strong. Hopefully you've got some good music playing in the background, helping you through this cardio blast. 10 seconds left to this one. Side to side. Ah, five. Four, three, two, and one. 15 seconds off. Option of full burpees. Strong plank. Beautiful push up. Pop those feet through. Jump. Going in five, four, three, two, and burpee time. Here we go. Now, notice I'm not going horribly fast. I care about every single step of this progression. I don't know if you checked it out, I've got a 20 minute, 20 minute body weight burpee builder workout where it's just your body and we focus on every single section of the burpee. And then of course we end with a burpee Tabata. But as much as you may dislike burpees, it's actually pretty fun to really break down those movement mechanics. Take a break, 15 off, side shuffles. Shuffle, 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 tap. Shuffle, shuffle, shuffle. Tap. And then burpees one more time. All right, three, two, one. Here we go. Ha. Side to side. Bam. Pop. The endorphins hopefully are starting to kick in a little bit. You know that you're nearing the last section of your workout. Hopefully you did some things that challenged you. 10 seconds to go. Five, four, three, two, and one. One more burpee set here. Our last cardio blast of the day. Going in 10 seconds. Get ready. Can you plank a little harder? Can you jump a little higher? Three, two, and one. Strong plank. Challenge helps bring us change. What is it, the definition of insanity is doing the same thing over and over again and expecting a new result. <sighs> same thing with exercise. Got to work on pushing the ceiling, <sighs> trying to get yourself to that next level, trying to get better every single day. Three, two, and one. Oh, minute break. Grab some water. And then we just had that last section of exercises. <laughs> Every exercise in this last section is at mid-length. So grab your water, shorten your straps up just a little bit. So if you've got the gray and black ones, the yellow adjustment tab goes to where gray and black meet, or you might have a little hash mark on your straps. You bring your yellow adjustment tab to that hash mark. If you're on a door where your height's a little bit different, you want your handles a bit above your knees, about six inches above your knees. And that's the height we're looking for, for mid-length. Guys, we're gonna start with those hinges. Remember, going in reverse. Again, if you're on a door anchor, you're just gonna press your bum right up against the door. If you have an overhead anchor, you can walk back a little bit further for a bigger challenge. Keeping your spine neutral, I'm gonna face this way this time so you can see my flat back. Three, like I hope it is, two, and one. I'm unhinging my hips, I squeeze, and then I press my hips back. Okay, this one people tend to do some funky stuff with their upper body and try to reach their arms out. Your hands stay in that same position beneath your shoulders. And I'm just opening my hips, sticking that plank, driving my hips back. It's kind of a weird feeling, but it's great for working on those hinge movement mechanics. Whew. 15 seconds left. Again, if you're up for that bigger challenge, walk it backwards a little bit more. Last 10. Five. Four, three, two, and one. It's power pull time. Okay, straps at mid-length. Grab onto one handle with your right hand, please. 
I'm going to pull that right hand directly up to my rib cage, reaching my left hand up toward the anchor to make this harder. You walk under a little steeper. Legs are straight. Big squeeze behind that right shoulder blade. Tight middle. Two, one. Here we go. Slowly lower it down and then pop it up. Kabam. Again, if you lost your tension on top, walk under a little further. Bum tight. Rotisserie the heck out of that chicken. Body straight and strong. <sighs> yeah, I just joined Costco for the first time this year, and it was a really overwhelming experience for me. There were all sorts of things, large quantities of things in all sorts of aisles, and everybody else seemed to know exactly what they get from Costco, and I had no idea. I had to have my sister-in-law like take me on a tour of the right Costco buys. Three, two, one. Oh. 20 second break, switch sides. So if you're watching this video afterwards in the comment section, I wanna know what your favorite Costco purchase is because every time I talk to somebody, they have some new amazing discovery and I'm like, I should try that. We also had to buy extra storage for our groceries in our house to manage our Costco membership. All right, other arm, reach it up on the balls of your feet, slowly lower it down, pop it open. And what's really funny about that story is if you're doing this workout more than once, you're like, oh my God, Shauna, I've already heard this Costco story. <laughs> Shoulders down and back. I promise I'll record more videos for you. Pop up to those toes, body straight and strong, buns are tight, big squeeze. Ugh. Hiding the ribs, squeezing behind the shoulder blades. <sighs> 15 seconds to go. Ah, the end is near. <sighs> Making sure the back isn't arching on the bottom. Big reach, big snap. Three, two, and one. Oh, I love those. All right, alternate and step back lunges. I'm gonna give you the option to turn those into balance lunges, meaning you're gonna step back, but the leg just hovers above the ground and doesn't quite touch. Then you'll set it down. So a little more work for that front glute. Three, two, one. Here we go. So I'm gonna balance and switch. Balance and switch. My chest is up. My shoulders are down. My front knee is tracking directly over my middle toes. I'm looking either straight ahead or up at the anchor. Remember, looking down is not great for your posture. Squeezing and driving. Straight down and up like an elevator. Avoid dumping backwards and forwards like an escalator. You've got 10 seconds left. Five, four, three, two, and one. Awesome job. T-Rex triceps presses. So turn around, face away from the anchor. Oh, to make these harder, you just walk back a little bit. But you know what? No matter what you do with these, you're going to feel them tomorrow. Triceps presses are magical, whereas they always lead to some sort of muscle soreness the next day. Three, two, squeeze those buns. One, thumbs to forehead, drive it back up. Nice, strong, active plank. <sighs> Pulling that belly button in. Shoulders are away from your ears. Shoulder blades in the back pocket. Avoid bending at your hips. Again, you're still that nice, straight surfboard moving through space. Down and up. Body straight as a four by four. Ears, shoulders, hips, ankles in alignment. Squeezing in the middle. Call those tickle tummy abdominals. I'm going to tickle your stomach. How tight would you brace your core? You know that clenching you do when you know someone's going to tickle you? <laughs> Three, two, and one. High biceps curls. Turn around. All right. Whew. How do we make these harder? I'm going to try something with you. Go ahead and flip your hands around. We're going to do a reverse curl. So your thumbs go up towards your temples. This is a challenge. <laughs> Shoulders down and back. Elbows high. Heels up. Or toes up. Heels down. All the way straight. Bring the thumbs up, shoulders away from your ears. Isn't that weird? It's a lot more forearms, that muscle called the brachialis. These are called reverse curls. My elbows are still staying high. It's tempting to pull them in like a T-Rex. Don't do that, that's cheating. And that's bad posture. So my ribs are zipped, my buns are tight, and guess what, we only have one more exercise after this. And then we cool down and get you out of here. Nice, straight, strong, active plank. <sighs> Last 10 seconds, hide the ribs. Are you still holding on to that piece of coal? It's darn near a diamond right now. Three, two, and one. All right, grand finale. You can either do the same squats we did in the beginning, 
or if you want to add a jump to those squats to get your heart rate up a little bit at the end of the workout, feel free. So I'm standing facing my anchor straps. We're still at mid-length. Shoulders down and back. I'm going to drop my bucket as low as I safely can. I'm going to pull and then push. Here we go. If you have a low ceiling, watch your head. <laughs> Soft knees. I'm pulling and pushing. So I'm actually sneaking in a little bit of rowing, a little bit of triceps in here too. And I'm absorbing. The moment I land, my knees and my hips absorb that landing. <sighs> now if you're in an apartment, <laughs> above somebody. Hopefully you opted for just those regular squats. Last 15 seconds of your workout today, and then we'll do some stretches. Five, four, three, two, and one. Oh, high five. Let's do a couple of stretches. We're going to start with your T-Rex lower back stretch with rotation. Your straps are at mid-length, just how they were. Stand facing. Walk it back, arms straight out in front of you. Inhale, exhale, fold your body in half. Get a nice stretch. Oh, just letting those hips sink back. Now from here, bend your right knee. Let your left hip drop. Look under your left armpit. So you're kind of stacking your hips one on top of the other. And then switch it up other side. Bend your left knee. Look under your right armpit. And then you can kind of do one side, and then the other side. Good, we're gonna do your standing figure four stretch from the same position. Now if you cross your right ankle over your left knee, bend the left knee, sink down into your imaginary chair, keeping your chest up tall and proud, pulling those shoulders down and back. And make some circles on that right ankle, and really try to push your right knee down toward the ground. Also notice how I'm kind of pulling my posture upright rather than dumping forward. Inhale, exhale, sink a touch lower. Good. All those hips are what we worked. It's a lot of that jumping, squatting, lunging. Go ahead and switch it up other side. Left ankle over your right knee. Sink those hips down and back. Chest stays up tall and proud. Again, give me some inhales, some exhales. Excellent job keeping those eyes up toward the anchor. Give me a big inhale. Exhale, sink a little bit lower. Nice job. And just breathe and relax. Good, good, good. And bring that up. We're going to do your wide stance hip hinge. So walk it back, arms straight out in front of you. Give me a nice wide stance, toes pointed directly forward. Inhale, exhale, dive your hands forward. Press your hips up and back. Now make sure you have this neutral spine. Kind of like, you know when you scratch a cat's bum and it lifts the bum up toward you? <laughs> That's what you want to think about with your bum. And while you're holding this position, I'm going to have you bend your right knee. Oh, a little bit of lateral lunge, and then the left knee. Good. Give me a big inhale, exhale, slowly roll that up one vertebra at a time. Ah, finally, your chest and shoulder stretch with a little bit of shoulder mobility. So stand facing away from the anchor point. Walk it forward, thumbs are up toward the ceiling. One big step forward, other leg back. Shoulders are down and back. I'm pressing my arms apart. Go ahead, just enjoy this for a moment. This is a stretch that I like to do throughout the day, especially days where I'm stuck sitting at my desk for a long period of time, just stopping and opening. <sighs> but if we move back just a touch, then we're gonna sweep those shoulders. You're gonna come all the way down, all the way back up, and just working that mobility, not forcing it, you should be able to keep your chest open, gentle pressure on those straps. If you drop to one side, oh, and then the other side, and slowly drop those straps. Congratulations, you guys. We got your heart rate up today. We went through all the different foundational movements. We saw a series of exercises. Then we made those exercises more challenging. My hope for you is that you found a level that was safe and effective for you, and that every time you do these workouts, you're able to step things up just a little bit, to make yourself just a little bit better, and to be able to challenge yourself just a little bit more. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you check out some of the other workout videos for your workout routine. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel, to like this video. I appreciate your support. Have a wonderful rest of your day.